It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. It is a Thursday, and normally uh, on Thursdays we do throwback episodes where we feature music and reactions that I have recorded previously. Uh, but today I am here. It is a new video. Hi, y'all. Uh, it is February, and we are continuing to celebrate Black History Month by featuring music by some of our favorite African-American artists. And we just could not let the month go by without including some Jimi Hendrix friends. So you have uh, arrived. We're going to take a look at Voodoo Child, Slight Return from Jimi Hendrix. So I have reacted to Jimi's music once before, but not on YouTube. It was over on uh, my Patreon uh, last April as part of our fan favorite series where we were celebrating some of our favorite guitar music during the month of April, which is International Guitar Month. And on that occasion, I listened to the longer version of this, uh, Voodoo Child, the long jam session that was included on side one of Electric Ladyland. So, so this is uh, the third and final studio album by the Jimi Hendrix Experience. It was released in 1968, and sadly, Jimi died in 1970 at uh, the young age of 27. So in recording this, uh, on May 2nd of, of 1968, Jimi is in New York, and he recorded a jam session, and he called it Voodoo Child, and he was jamming with Steve Winwood uh, on the organ and Jack Cassidy, on the bass along with his regular drummer uh, Mitch Mitchell and the song kind of uh, evolved the jam session kind of evolved from another song that Jimmy had been playing at the time that was called Catfish Blues and that song was an homage to Muddy Waters and so the uh, the jam session turned out so great they ended up including it on the album I'm not sure if they ever intended to uh, to include that but uh, it is one of the great takes, right? <laughs> so, so it's on the album. Uh, the following day, uh, May 3rd, Jimmy returns to the studio, and this time he is with his regular band members, uh, which included Noel Redding uh, on the bass, as well as Mitch Mitchell on, on the drums. And on that day, ABC was filming a documentary uh, about Jimmy and, and his music. And so the musicians were asked to kind of be in their element and doing their thing. So they played several takes of what became Voodoo Child Slight Return, a, uh, a sort of using of those, of those um, motives and ideas from that longer jam that had happened the day before and fit it into a slightly more compressed uh, piece, uh, uh, definitely shorter in duration, right? And so uh, it is the eighth and last uh, take that they did of, of Voodoo Child, a uh, slight return that became the version used on the album. And uh, this uh, shorter track, Slight Return, closes out the album on side four, which allows sort of a return at the end of the album to some of the themes and sounds that were heard all the way back on sound uh, on uh, side one with the the longer jam right so uh it's been since april since i heard the jam and i don't know the last time that i listened to to a slight return i know the riff uh but uh i don't have the overall ethos of the piece in my brain so it's going to be fun to go back and visit this uh, historic uh, recording, and uh, I am glad that you are here to to enjoy it with me. So here is Voodoo Child, Slight Return from Jimi Hendrix. Off we go. Right. I believe they are tuned down. Bases, they're on an E flat. So they're 
riffing in to what I think is just, it's just an E flat minor, in a tonic minor. sets up is, I think, a blues progression. That's what this is being based on, especially with an homage to Muddy Waters. That sounds like they're going to the floor, but the bass stays on one. I need to raise a little sand. Six. Flat seven. Great. effect on his solo. It's, it's almost like he's moving around the room. doing my reading today, I read that he was almost ambidextrous. He could play either right or left-handed. He was most comfortable playing left-handed, and he only had a right-handed guitar. Trio. Maybe we looked at animals as leaders earlier this week. Another power trio, right? sound transcend the instrument. That's what I think is so special about it. It's almost like it's not even coming from the guitar. It's, uh, the attack is different. It's, it's singularly his touch on it. And it's got so much color. It's just right near the end. It just fades right out. And they, and they cut it there. Woo! I mean, one of the best uh, examples of, of just guitar greatness of all time, right? Just, just, just wonderful. Um, as I was reading in, it's confusing, y'all, the name stuff uh, around this song, the name of the song. <laughs> I've, I've gone back and forth. Is it, is it uh, Voodoo Child or is it Voodoo Child with an E, C-H-I-L-E? 
And what I found was that Jimmy would occasionally use different names and spellings for some of his tunes. So in his handwritten lyrics, uh, he used Voodoo Child with an E for the longer song while he used both Child with an E and Child with a D uh, for Slight Return, the, the, the following one that he recorded uh, that, that we just listened to. And in his handwritten album notes for, for the album that he sent to uh, his record company, he lists the songs as Voodoo Child, C-H-I-L-E, and Voodoo Child with a D. A uh, slight return, and when the album was released in the U.S., uh, it used those spellings. But when the album was released in the U.K., both songs were spelled with C H I L E, and it makes sense to me why I had a couple of Brits going, "No, you're wrong. It's C H I L E," and the Americans are going, "No, you're wrong. It's C H I L T." <laughs> Turns out you're both right, friends. Uh, so <laughs> it's just one of those things that happens. Uh, with with this, uh, so yeah, it's it's hard to understate his his influence, y'all. Even though his uh, sort of mainstream career, the the main part of his career was only about four years long, uh, he remains one of the most influential electric guitar players in the history of popular music. Uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame refers, refers to him as arguably the greatest instrumentalist in the history of rock music. There is no ambiguity in that statement. And about this particular song, I found a quote by Joe uh, Satriani, and he said, It's just the greatest piece of electric guitar work ever recorded. In fact, the whole song could be considered the holy grail of guitar expression and technique. It is a beacon of humanity. And and when you've got um, authorities in this space, like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Joe Satriani saying stuff like that, and they're not the only ones by far. I mean, it's, it's like uh, e almost everyone that is a rock and roll guitar player cites Jimi Hendrix as one of their influences. Uh, his music and his legacy remain uh, well uh, entrenched in American uh, popular culture and popular music, I think, around uh, the Western world. And all this from a guy who played a right-handed guitar, left-handed and upside down. Uh, he thought about the world and approached his music in a singular and unique way, and it remains powerful and just a wonder to listen to. So this was really fun to get to some Jimi Hendrix with Voodoo Child, Slight Return, uh, during our uh, Black History Month celebration. So thanks to all of you for hanging out with me today. That is it for this episode, but we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.